All right, hello Facebook. Hi. We are live. We tried to set it up, so hopefully it's the right way. The yep. home for the first time from the home of are you video? me and Tori and baby Cade and hello, brand hello. new on tonight's episode, baby Coulter. Tonight's Little episode Coulter is all about Coulter's delivery. I'll bring him up so you can see him for a second. This little guy is five months old now. Big boy, I can't believe it. So five months and ago, so <laughs> this baby was born, and that's what this oh. episode is about. And also, I forgot I was supposed to get comments. During Sorry. this episode, there was a unintended side plot, which is Trace during a basketball game on the back slab gets absolutely wrecked. He so, scared us all to death. Be sure to check that out. It's a big part of the show. Basically, as soon as I said that I was 10 centimeters and about to have this baby, I got a phone call while I was FaceTiming my family. <laughs> so, because I wanted them to be a part of it since they couldn't be there. And then at the same time as I said, okay, little Coulter's about to be here, they're like, okay, Trace is on the way to ER. Him and Trace is more than quite ahead. So, it was pretty was dramatic. Pretty, yeah, it was pretty scary. So some side notes on, on this episode, obviously something unique about uh, Coulter's birth and everything was it was at the beginning of the outbreak of COVID-19 and all the hospital regulations were changing nonstop. We weren't quite sure what to expect. I was very, very nervous about it prior to it. We did a lot of praying, uh, called a lot of hospitals mm -hmm. asking questions, trying to figure out what the updates were going to be and stuff like that. So. It was a very scary time, but it all yeah. worked out really it was, well. It was quite a bit um, of anxiety for us. We were really praying it out just that I would be able to be in the room at Tory. And I know that there have been many, many stories and situations around the country as regulations mm -hmm. have differed where the husband and the dad haven't been able to be in there. So we really feel for those people and um, just lots of, lots of different situations where people have not been able to be with loved ones in hospital rooms in much harder circumstances. So um, at the end of the day... Uh, the craziness that we had um, was really nothing compared to what some people I was very happy that Bobby could be there. Yeah. So basically, it was a very different setting. Um, we got to the hospital, and Bobby had already gone to work that morning. And I called him to come back. Got to the hospital. It was a very different setting. Yeah, so I'm no, I'm not going to ruin all of it. But basically, um, we figured out a way to include the entire family and make it feel like they could still be in the room with us so that it could feel like somewhat of a party so we weren't all by our lonesome. So that was really special for me. Yeah, it was very, very eventful. So I think, let's see, for comments on here, we need to get all the way to the top, right? Let's check out some of these. Congrats from Michigan. Thank you, thank you. Illinois. They're all getting ready for bed. Hello from Arkansas. The name Coulter, yeah, it is pretty unique, isn't it? I actually oh, stole the name Coulter from my sister Erin, so... <laughs> Which I did not realize, because we were looking endlessly online for baby names, baby names, baby names. Yeah, I saw it online, and then I realized the reason it sounded so familiar and so cute is because Erin had wanted to use it previously. The good so. old classic baby name book is a lot bigger, because it's on the entire internet now. Very so there's true. A lot of possibilities from pretty much every country in the entire world. So there's all kinds of options when it comes to naming your baby. You can get it as creative as you want. Some hello to Indiana. Um, I'm trying to find all the comments. There's a lot of hellos Carolina, from different states. Carolina, Villa Rica, Georgia, Virginia, Wyoming. I missed one. Oh well. Sorry. Connecticut. Check it out. South Carolina. Bobby, where are you going? Florida. To I'll answer that. Keep looking. Yeah, <laughs> Florida to visit my folks. I think. The next time I get to see them is probably Thanksgiving. We always try to get down there at some point. Um, but thankfully, there have been a couple other times this year we've been able to get together. So that's always fun. Uh, see my grandparents down there, my aunt and uncles, and uh, all kinds of stuff. So can't wait to get back down there again. Let's see. Oh, I saw a question about kids. That one probably was good. Oh, by the way, if anybody is wondering why Cade's sucking a passy, um... He has this new thing these days that he has to do everything Coulter does. And so <laughs> that includes sucking a passy. So actually, all the passes I have are now Cades instead of Coulter's because Coulter is at the point where he's just like, he did not he even care. use one for like yeah. the whole first year and a half of his life. And now he just does it for fun. Yeah, Cade refused it. And now he does it because of Feel Coulter. Feel free to share your important medical opinions so, yeah. in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> we will read through them later. It's pretty bad, but I have to say, don't judge. I have found myself at times that he's crying to be like, Kate, 
Go get your passy. <laughs> so K names, babe. Someone wants to know, are we going to name all of our kids with K names? Okay. No, we're not naming all our kids with K names. It just happened that, well, Kate, his official name is Robert Ellis Smith the Fourth, and when I, I know a lot of people don't Poor understand, kid. but I googled names that mean fourth or fourth generation, and Cade basically meant that in what was it Latin or Greek? It's like or Latin something. and Gaelic, and it has like yeah, a very like long that. indirect meaning to fourth born. So yeah. So anyway, so I it. took it because it sounded normal, and I like the name Cade. And so then I happened to like the name Coulter, and I don't know, I guess I like Coulter K names, but <laughs> I don't think we'll name all of them that way. It just happened to be the first two. What would you name a girl, your first girl, if you have one? Oh, I don't even have a clue. I seriously, I wanted a boy with Coulter. I don't even think I hardly even looked at girl names. So, but I did realize when I was looking for names with Coulter that girl names must be way easier because there are hardly any boy names that are not like extremely well-known and common. So that is one thing. I do like to kind of have a name that's a little bit like different, I guess, but we'll see. Okay, I saw another good question there from I'm not, I'm Alexis. Not well. So probably one of you guys should answer, maybe specifically you, but Alexis wants to know what would be your advice for first year of high school? There's a lot of pressure, a lot of different things going on. Maybe you can relate where you went to college for the first time. I don't know. Oh, good grief. That's so long ago, I feel like, and I can't even remember it. <laughs> Just do your schoolwork and don't get behind on it. That's all. I would say generically, um, you know, going into high school, it's a huge, it can be very intimidating. You know, you're all of a sudden with a, a new age group. You go from being the oldest of your group in middle school to all of a sudden you're the youngest and you've got people there that are three, four, five years older than you. It can be pretty intimidating, but um, you know it's so important that you stay grounded, find people that are being going to be good influences for you, find good role models for you. Don't get swept away by just whatever's most popular and whoever's the coolest. Find people that you can really look up to, uh, and that will help point you to Christ, because that's more important than anything else. Stay grounded in your walk with God, and um, that'll really help you. That's what I say, too. It sounded really good. High school is scary. It's a big thing. Okay, somebody asked... Do the boys sleep all night? Um, honestly, Which I... Which night? <laughs> Which night? Last night? <laughs> no. Because last night... No, just kidding. I think no, they did. Good. I Honestly, we've been really fortunate. Kate has always been an amazing sleeper, and he slept through the night pretty quickly on. Coulter gave me a scare at the start because he liked to squeal and cry more than Kate did, but then he hit about three months or so and just phased out of that. So they both both sleep very well. Um, Coulter will usually give me like in between eight and ten hours. So I'm very happy with that right now. So <laughs> it's a lot better than the three, four, even five. So so Carla and Evan, how are Carla and Evan doing with their positive test results? Yes, Carla and Evan are through the quarantine phase and feeling much better, thankfully. Praise the um, Lord. And little Layla is okay through it all, so we're all very happy for that. And I'm not sure if Evan has gone back to work yet or not, but I, I know, know they're through the quarantine period, so yeah, that's so very we're, nice. We're really happy yes. that they're doing better. It's a scary thing. Let's see here. Did I have to get a COVID test when I entered the hospital? I did not have to get a COVID test. I feel like when um, Coulter was born, um, back in March, it was still kind of on the early side um, of, well, it was kind of on the early earlier side of COVID. And um, so they did screen us, you know, fevers and all of that stuff, but I didn't actually have to test. I don't think that they had the rapid test in at that time, yeah, at least they in were, this area. They were still just checking our temperature. Yeah. They asked us some so, questions and then we got in and we were, it was kind of nerve wracking because it felt like, what if we aren't, what are we not allowed to go into the hospital? Hey, someone says, Adley, your YouTube video with Josie doing your makeup was so cute. You looked adorable. <laughs> I told you you looked adorable. She was Thank shy you. about she it, but did. I told her she did a good job. That was what Kelly said. Kelly told you that. So, Any questions for the girls also? Just kidding. No. They'll kill me after this. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions? They want to talk. They're really just like, goodness, Bobby can shut his mouth so we can just express our opinion, share our heart with the world. They're waiting over there. Hello from Nebraska. Hello, Addy and Ellie. Yeah. Hi. Hmm. Are you at your home? We are at our home. 
Yes, yes. They are. and that's also why the lighting is not that great because we're in an apartment and for some reason they built room lights, so all we have is lamps. Oh yeah, <laughs> I didn't really think about that. Yeah, so that is no why. Sorry. Either. Yeah, that's the other thing. But it is cool very thing. nice, and we're very grateful for it. Yeah. Aaron helped us really decorate this place and spritz it up. Mm, awesome. What time do I get up in the morning? I love that question. So okay. on Sundays, like 7.30, I mean, she is an early Be riser. Quiet. This is my answer. Oh, that's <laughs> look good. No, honestly, it changes depending on the time because, one, it depends on when the boys want to wake me up or if I want to get up to um, get different things done. And so... Honestly, like they go to bed usually at like eight or nine. <laughs> Honestly, it's their bedtime right now, but they're doing fine, so I'm fine with that. Um, so it just depends. It depends on the time, and I guess that's a great answer. It just depends. <laughs> so Jeremy saw me at Walmart and Clinton, which means I better remember <laughs> that. I actually um, don't do any of the shopping ever because I hate it. So I always send Bobby. I try to let Walmart do my shopping for me and bring it out to my yeah, car. Yeah, we do love the we love the pickup. But stuff. sometimes, you know, you still end up having to get a couple things. So yeah, I think he went there um, tonight because he had to get us some garlic bread for our spaghetti. So yeah, that was, I was really nice. Wheeling Kate around and he's practically falling asleep in his cart. He was very to nice. Escape. Someone said, "How's the homeschooling going with the cousins? How's your tutoring going with them?" Ooh, honestly, okay. So I was doing that up until Coulter was born. And then after Coulter was born, two for me was an adjustment. <laughs> I know, I guess everybody says it's an adjustment with a new baby, but it was very different having him and then Cade at the same time wanting something instantly. <laughs> and then Coulter, I'm like having Coulter, I'm like, Cade, wait a minute. He did not understand weight when Coulter was first born. So I took my time on, time on that. <laughs> and so I haven't got that quite got back into the swing with it. So hopefully I do miss it a lot. So hopefully I can get back into the swing on that soon. So I'm laughing over here because you have two little boys <laughs> completely, completely sidetracked. And here's Coulter just looking at his hands the whole time. And there's Cade like a teenager just scrolling through the phone. because He's, he's looking at pictures. It's pretty much the only way to keep him still. But that is not normal. It's not normal, guys. Not going to have his own for a while. Okay. Hey, how about tips for keeping a kid in bed? That's what somebody said. That's, That's a sketchy one because... <laughs> you make sure they're asleep before they get there somehow. No. You just run them into the ground. <laughs> My plan was uh, to keep Cade in like um, the crib or Porter crib for a while after Coulter was born. Uh, but Cade actually is a little adventurer and he started climbing out of his crib. And so I... <laughs> I had to transfer him to a big bed. Was it right before Coulter was born or right after? After. After. Was after. Okay, right after Coulter was born, I had to transfer him to a big bed. So that one, I was just like, I'm not really sure how this is going to work. So we actually have a pull-out trundle bed in their room. And um, <laughs> I tried that for a while. And then randomly, he would wake up. He would go to sleep fine and then wake up at like 2 or 3 in the Jeez. morning coming and crying in my room so some nights now it's more like okay Kate just lay on the floor beside my bed and he goes and he's just happy with it so definitely had some of those weird moments where we're figuring that one out people still. talk about you're in the middle of the night and all of a sudden you look over and your kids there just staring at your face except he doesn't do the quiet thing yet he comes in there <laughs> and says mommy 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 uh, okay, guys, I'm sorry. We totally lost track of time, yeah, and I don't think we answered a ton of your questions. I'm sorry. We just all chitter-chatter. Can you say bye yes. to everybody? Don't forget to twink. To tweet, tweet with the hashtag, <laughs> bringing up dates. I'm trying to remember it. Yeah, do that. And okay, then well, I guess everybody? the show's on. So will I hope you, you enjoy it. It was very different for us. Don't judge all of our video and Blum ourselves. Kisses. That Blum was interesting. Goodbye. Blum kiss goodbye. <laughs> Can you say bye? Say bye, Kate. Say bye. God bless you guys. We love Goodbye. you. Oh, oh yes. There. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, no. How do I do this? <laughs> For full episodes, scenes, and exclusive videos of Bringing Up Bates, go to uptv.com slash Bates.